The EPA just made a historic announcement about the toxic forever chemicals in your drinking water. The EPA said today that it is finally going to limit the amount of toxic forever chemicals allowed in drinking water by setting something called a maximum contaminant level, or MCL. That means safer drinking water for you and your family. Here are five things you need to know. What are PFAS? PFAS are forever chemicals because they do not break down in the environment and they can build up in our bodies. Exposure to PFAS, even at very low levels, is associated with some serious health problems, like increased risk of kidney and testicular cancer, immune harms, reproductive issues like preeclampsia, low birth weights, lower sperm counts, and higher cholesterol. What is an MCL? An MCL, or maximum contaminant level, is just what it sounds like. It's the max amount of a chemical legally allowed to be in the drinking water that comes out of your tap. What did the EPA announce? The EPA set limits for some of the most notorious PFAS that are most commonly found in drinking water. The limits that EPA set for these chemicals are very low. This confirms what leading scientists have been saying for decades. These chemicals are toxic even in very small amounts. Once this rule is in effect, water utilities will have to filter out these chemicals and regularly test to make sure your water is safe. Why is this such a big deal? This is the first new drinking water standard in decades, and it is long overdue. For decades, chemical companies hid the risks of PFAS from workers, the government, their neighbors, and the public. But even once regulators knew about the risks, they were slow to act. As a result, millions of people have been exposed to unsafe levels of PFAS in their drinking water. Some people have even gotten sick or lost family members because of their exposure to PFAS. Having these standards in place is a huge win for public health. How can I find out more about PFAS in my drinking water? EWG has three tools you can use to find out more about the PFAS in your water. We have a map that we update regularly to document where PFAS have been detected across the country. You can also put your zip code into EWG's tap water database to learn more about PFAS and other chemicals in your water. Consumers can also check out EWG's water filter guide to learn more about which filters can address the chemicals, including PFAS, in your drinking water.